episode 80 of series 5 of Master League Story Mode. So, in the last episode, you might have caught it at the end, Marcelo Bielsa was offered the Liverpool job. <sighs> it's a big one, isn't it? It's one that we certainly had to consider. Let's take a look just before I announce what we're going to do with this. A decision has been made by the patrons, I can confirm that. I won't tell you what it is. Let's take a look at the game plan. Who could we be playing with? Well, first of all, it's an absolutely massive squad. Huge squad. We could sell, I don't even know what their transfer budget is. I don't know if there's a way of seeing actually. Uh, there's an absolutely huge squad. Loads of saleable talent here. Bought players like DePaula in, who's quality. Um, Mo Salah's still there. They're lacking a centre forward. And they certainly need to refresh their centre back options, but it would be great fun, wouldn't it? Incredible. Where are they in the league? They're currently seventh in the league, so they're not doing particularly well. They are below Leeds don't think there's any way of finding out what their transfer budget is. I guess there probably isn't. Presumably it is higher than ours now, but anyway, that's not the point. The vote went out today to the patrons. They make the decisions on this channel. They're the people kindly donating every month to keep this channel going. And it was a shock, I have to tell you. It went down to the wire and it ended up being a split decision between Leeds and Liverpool. Stay at Leeds move away from Liverpool. I think the comments in the last episode sort of reflected that as well. A pretty even split, a lot of people saying Marcelo should move to get the budget that he needs for success, and some saying you can't give up on Leeds now. Well, this hasn't happened before. Almost, I think every single patron vote has been decided by the voters. But with a dead heat, I am gonna have the final word on this, and I just can't leave. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to everyone who voted to go to Liverpool. I'm sorry for everyone who commented that we should leave. I just can't do it. I can't. You've got to play till the end of the season at least. I wouldn't mind doing another season elsewhere. Maybe in another country. That would be interesting. But yeah, for me, Marcelo Bielsa's got to see the Leeds project out. We sit in fourth at the moment. We've let Manchester City pull away, but we've got a little bit of a chance in Europe. And I think that's worth sticking around for. So let's get back into the Premier League after the disappointing draw against West Ham. We need to bounce back. Oh, Maxi Romero's dramatic improvements over. And we've got lots of downward arrow here. Is the squad potentially unsettled by the rumours flying around about their manager leaving? Um, so we're going to have to make some changes here. Serge can move there. I guess Chidozi in defensive mid again. And ooh, I think we're going to have to start Goni. Play Gomez out on the right. It's not ideal against Fulham should be okay although they do have a good side they've signed in Cuckoo that is a really good signing Schurla, Vieto, Hazard up top an interesting back line a lot of good young talent in there it's a nice looking team it is a good team they've got Seri on the bench and Gisa as well he's a good player Mitrovic is an option yeah well we've not been in the best form ever I'm tempted to start the horse but Maxi Romero he's not really let us down too much with goals has he this season it's a very changed side, but hopefully we can get the win at Ellen Road. Let's go for it. So we definitely could have moved to Liverpool, couldn't we? I mean, literally and you know, theoretically. It would have been good fun. I think Marcelo Bielsa's performance as a manager has allowed him that sort of move. It would have been fun to play with Mo Salah. It would have been fun to sell a load of Deadwood and bring in some absolute stars. But we've got time for that. For now, the Leeds project. Still got some hope. I've still got hope. Let's get a win today to get us back on track. Oh, it's a good ball inside. Schurler will get there. Vieto's effort is wide. Pretty much the first chance of what has been a very disappointing game here at Ellen Road. Fulham have been dominating. They've had 60% possession at one stage. Just can't quite get into this with the change squad. Need to improve. Oh, unlucky there. It's a bit of a mistake. Maxi Romero has played through. He's away from Alfie Mawson here. Looks to get it over the top of Bettinelli. That's really poor. Sessignon intercepts it. Fossi Mensa will get it back here. Timothy Fossi Mensa. Nice touch there. Oh, it's into Sherlock. It's got to be. Fuck! Well, they totally deserved it. They've been the better side. But as soon as the ball came in here. Let's take a look. How was he able to cross it in? Oh, it was just a nasty deflection off Nabry. It's poor luck there more than anything else, but we certainly didn't deserve to be ahead. We probably deserve to be behind. We need some serious soul-searching at half-time, which is very nearly upon us. And that is the worst performance Leeds have put in this season. 
clearly all of the rumours around their manager leaving. It's had a big effect on their mentality. We've had one shot on target at home. Fulham are running away with this and they got their goal. Fortuitously, yes, but they certainly deserved it. We really need to buck our ideas up in this second half. Oh, Gomez gets there. Brave work. Now De Jong into the box. Away from Mawson. The low effort is blocked by the keeper. That's our first shot on target in this game. And it falls to De Jong and it's not the best effort. Cliver, lovely flick into Nabry. And that is a smart ball into Ryan Sessignon. Low ball in. Looking for Maxi Romero. Callum Chambers does enough. We're starting to up the pace a little bit. We need to do much better. De Jong with the in swinger. Oh, Lookman's away from his man. It's punched away well. Sessignon needs to get to this, and he does. Now Frankie de Jong he can whip a ball in. It's a dangerous one. It's well headed away. Sessignon again will pick it up here. And will whip a ball in for Maxi Romero. The header's there. And finally, three or four chances in a row there for Leeds. Marcelo Bielsa's tongue lashing at half-time has clearly had the desired effect. And Maxi Romero continues his goal-scoring spree. Top scorer in the Premier League by a good ten goals now. And Sessignon with another assist to his name. He's really racking him up. He's having a great season. I wouldn't say the same for Chidozi on the right. But Cessna has certainly been a great signing. Chidozi into Cliver. Now Nabry. Lovely turn. It's for Maxi Romero. He's away from Vossi Mensa. Oh, no. <laughs> Crafty work there from the German. It was a lovely ball through into Maxi Romero. Great turn here. I'm really starting to enjoy playing with Serge Nabry. And Maxi Romero made space for himself. Muscled away from... Fossi Mensa just couldn't curl it home. Goni's first challenge is a good one, but now Hazard is through. Oof. Fucking hell, Butland. No, no, no! That's exactly what happened in the last episode. West Ham scored in that exact way. The keeper came out, did a good job. It was just fallen kindly to a Fulham player. It's a very smart ball there and a good finish. Ah, We are having a torrid time. Oh, Goni is going to be beaten to this by Andre Schürrle. He's going to have to keep the German at bay here. Oh, he's been caught out by the oldest trick in the book. The simple one too, but Butler, mercifully, is quick enough to deal with it. Sessignon, that's a great take. It's not a bad ball. Looking for Adamola down this right-hand side. Will he beat Brian to it? Nice, no, good running. Oh, that's our fucking luck at the moment, isn't it? De Jong does well there. Romero looks to return passes with the horse. Ah. Ah, Sessignon's won it back well. Into De Jong now. Ball into Serge Nabry. Away from his man. Yes! Gets the equaliser. The Surge Protector is back. Actually, that's not really the right nickname, is it? More like the Power Surge. Yeah, there we are. The Power Surge. Lights out. Boom. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's get the third. We can still win this. There's still time. Oh, Sessignon's won it back. He's been massive today. And he'll drive forward here. He's got the horse to look for in the centre. Still Sessignon into the horse. Returns the favour. Ryan Sessignon to win it here. Yes! It's an epic comeback. And it's the youngster, Ryan Sessignon, who finishes them off here, hopefully. There's still time left. Let's not count our chickens. But it's good, strong running here. Look for the 1-2 with the horse. Perfectly weighted. There we are. It's a calm finish. Very, very calm. Outside of the boot. Pokes it home. So, we've just kept the ball. We've been smart about it. And there we are. An absolutely incredible comeback. From the first half where we just couldn't get any possession on our own pitch to the second half where just nothing seemed to be going right for us. But, we kept plugging away. And Ryan Sessignon continues to have an excellent season. Grabs an important goal after an important assist as well. And it should be man of the match. Yes, it is for the young Englishman. Great work from here. Maxi Romero chipping in with some goals. Lookman had a poor game, but pretty much everyone else I was very pleased with. Especially Goni at centre-back. He came in today, did a job. Very pleased. Fulham certainly made it difficult for us. There's no doubt about that. We move up now. Seven points behind Manchester City. Still only one loss from them. Everton and Manchester United dropping points. We can catch them. We can. We're in a better position than we were this time last season. That's the key thing here. We finished strong last season. We can finish strong again. But a fixture pile up here could make things tricky. We didn't get to make a huge amount of substitutes because we only had red players on the bench. 
Hopefully we can rotate some of them back in. Let's see what the scouts got for us. Any suggestions in the comments as to where we should be scouting? Are there any positions that we might try and strengthen by selling Justin Cliver? Nabry, I'm quite happy to have as a starting left winger. So we'd need to bring in two players for the price of Justin Cliver, which might be tricky salary budget wise. I don't think we're going to be able to sign Lewandowski or Werner or Kane. I think the salaries might be a little bit out of our reach. But let me know in the comments where we should scout in the run up to the January transfer window. Very keen to hear your opinions there. Right, away, Selhurst Park. How's everyone looking? Hmm, okay. I mean, Bernardo will need to drop out, but Goni on a blue arrow, I'm very happy to bring in. Oh, alongside a downward arrow, Gomez, that is not ideal. Um, Cliver will stay in, some tired legs. Nabry was excellent. Brunetta can come back. Kobos, do we need to drop Sessignon or Chidozi? They're a little bit tired, but we'll give them a run out here. I think this could be a tricky game. Palace are a difficult opponent at the best of times. Sacco at the back, Zaha up top. This could be a tough one. So my personal opinion as to where we could strengthen, I'm not that pleased with Dion. I think that central midfield box-to-box -box position needs someone a little bit more dynamic. And in Cuckoo and in Cham maybe. Those sort of players that we've had before. I mean, we haven't had in Cuckoo, but I know he's similar to Olivier and Cham. But Olivier and Cham would be the perfect player for that position. Box-to-box -box player. Good going forward, great defensively. De Jong, an absolute magician on the ball, but a little lightweight. Oh, Brunetta, lovely work. Nicks in and wins it back. Now Adamola, away from Meyer. He's got the pace here. He's away from McCauley. Oh, lovely running. Adamola Lutman, straight at Spironi, unlucky. Soloth gets his body ahead of Gomez. Goni's across, but it's fallen to Meyer here. Oh, Sessignon does well. No, fuck off. Great save. And Juan Brunetta's clearance isn't a good one. Get it away. Oh, it's a pen. No, it's not. Get it away. Fucking hell. Sessignon into Cliver. Looks for Juan Brunetta. Now Maxi Romero inside. We'll shoot. Oh, he's hit that well. Forced Baroni into a good save. Oh, lovely ball into Andros Townsend. Lukasen does almost enough. Oh, that's a really bad miss from Sorloff. <laughs> Just seem to be making these little niggling defensive errors at the moment. I know that rotating our back line so much as we've had to through form and injuries probably isn't helping. It does seem like a lot of the goals at the moment are coming from defensive errors rather than something particularly good from our opponents. Oh, and there's another one. That's an absolute vintage defensive error there. Saul off. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Just as I was talking about defensive errors. Too much time talking, not enough time thinking. And Goni, who was excellent last game, makes a huge mistake. It's an easy finish in the end for Sorloff. Giving ourselves a mountain to climb. Oh, Montoya, that's a lovely ball inside. Zaha's effort is wide. We're in danger of letting this one run away. We need to get our heads back in the game. Oh, Cliver, lovely header. Into Juan Brunetta. He'll drive at this defence here. Maxi Romero back into Juan. Oh, Spironi again. Does enough. Brunetta will keep it alive. Lovely turn. Juan Brunetta, low ball. Oh my God, Maxi, what are you doing? Why didn't you hit that? Sessegnon away. That's poor. Fuck. Well, we can't say we haven't had chances because we've had an absolute boatload here. Just can't seem to beat Spironi. Sessegnon now. Only a few seconds left in this half. Ryan Sessegnon will drive forward. Ball across to Frankie de Jong. Oh, Spironi again. It's been five or six saves for him today. He's kept Palace ahead. Can we find something with the final kick of the game in this half? It's going to be Juan Brunetta with the outswinger. Lutman's made a good run. He's up for that. And he heads over the bar. Well, we went behind early on. We've come back into this well. Certainly played better than we did in the first half in the last game. But self-belief must be high now. After that comeback, we can do this. Come on. Oh, Lutman does well. All across, looking for Juan Brunetta. Yes! Yo, Juan, believable. Boom! Do, 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 I mean, that would be the music that would be pumped around if we were at Ellen Road, but we're not. We are in London. Juan Brunetta scores wherever he goes. Back in the side today. This is a lovely ball here from Lutman. Receives it back. Only Juan to aim for in the centre. 
but it is a deft touch from a man who's just signed for Godoy Cruz, uh, which I guess is Godoy, is that blue maybe in uh, Argentinian? Anyway, back into the Argentinian Premier League after Belgrano, the side that he was at last season, was sadly relegated. So he is playing at the top flight, admittedly still in Argentina. I'd love to see him get a move to Europe one day, but, uh, you know, probably isn't going to do as well as he is for us now. Oh, it's played through. Moreno's away from Goni. The substitute. Goni does well to get back. Sessegnon with an important slip there. Goni is turned. Sawloth on the... Oh, fucked it. Fucked it. Fuck! Oh, my God. Just... No. <laughs> I can't get anything to work at the moment. Joe Gomez here. And what are you doing? What are you doing? Sessegnon away from his man. Out to Chidozi. The horse into Sessignon. Into the box. Oh, wow. Cometh the man. Cometh the hour. Is that the right way around? Cometh the hour. Cometh the man. That makes a lot more sense. And Ryan Sessignon turns from a boy to a man in front of our eyes with these performances in the last few games. He's had to drag this lead side, kicking and screaming into uh, good positions in the game. And it's great interplay around the box. Finishing on his weaker foot before Sacco had a chance to Really work out where he was. Right, well, we've done it before. We can do it again. Let's get the winner here. Maxi Romero is pulled out wide here. Oh, and he's beaten Adrian Silva. Lovely work. He's been asked to do a different role late on in this game, but he'll step inside of Sobel here. Maxi Romero. Oh, couldn't find Weghorst. Unbelievable scenes. That should have been the winner there. Nabry into the horse. Can you find a white shirt here? Ah, that had to connect. Well, pff, I just don't know anymore. The defence is falling apart. We haven't played our first choice back line in quite a few games now. And it really is showing. We're conceding stupid goals. Luckily, we're somehow fighting our way back and scoring them as well. But more drop points against Manchester City. Just going to see the league continue to float out of reach. City win. And there it is, a nine-point gap. We stay second, but we don't care about second. Second best might as well be first last. I mean, that sort of is what it is. Ah, oh. oh. It's just not quite clicking at the moment. We knew this would happen. The pile-up of fixtures, the poor form, the tired legs. It's all starting to catch up with us. The team rotation is making us suffer here. Maybe we should have gone to Liverpool. There is still time. They're not going to win anything either, so... Who knows? Anyway, I'll see you in a bit.